Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dylan. You guys are chilling with Dylan, and today we got another slapper for you guys. Yes, sir, we got another unboxing, and you can tell by the box, it's a Nike SB. All right, guys, so before we get into this unboxing, please, please, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Uh, really does help the channel grow. Also, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel because we are cruising to 1,000 subscribers. We just currently hit 762 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the love and your, su your support. Honestly, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, I've been posting a lot of content. Check out my shorts. Check out my videos. Um, and a lot more to come because this is like... Uh, one of my passion projects, I really want to start getting this thing moving and really growing. Um, and hopefully we surpass that thousand. We just keep on grinding, guys. So, so like I said, we got another Nike SB Dunk Low unboxing. You guys can tell by the box. It is the rainbow box. So, you know, if you know SBs, that this is from at least a year or two years old, um, not the new gray box. So, label reads, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike olive gray mantra orange buy that label do you know what the shoe is leave your comment now before we get into it so here's the box here's the label right there and i got a size 11 and a half my true to size and all nike sb dunk lows so opening up this box i did actually pick this pair up from goat right so i know guys i know uh the whole aftermarket and reseller sites like um, Goat, StockX, eBay, all these authentication websites. People are iffy on it. They have their own opinions. Personally, me personally, I picked up multiple pairs now from Goat. I have not had a single issue um, on social media. You know, people blow out of proportion a lot of these sites. And StockX, um, I am a little iffy on it because of that. Um, I know Goat has had problems in the past as well, so they're not perfect by any means. But personally, I'm going to keep using them because I have not had a single issue purchasing pairs through them. So the thing what you get with GOAT is you also get the GOAT sticker right there. And instead of the punch outs, if you guys have bought them in the past, they don't give you the punch out anymore. It's just a little card with a quick um, QR code on the back. So you're able to scan it and see all of your authentication status. All right, guys. So with all that being said, let it us get to the sneakers. Boom, right there. So. This is one of the cleanest Nike SB Dunk Lows, in my opinion, that you can possibly buy. Because not only is it now going to be October 2023, so it's the perfect time for this colorway. Um, I've been wanting this pair for a little while now, so I did recently see them on the resale market, you know. Uh, take a little bit dip in price, so I said, you know what, let me go for it, let me bite the bullet. And I ended up copping these things when they did dip because I thought it was the perfect time. And one of my, honestly, my favorite SBs that, that have ever came out, to be honest, as far as color blocking goes. Now, let's get into it, guys. All right. So is this the perfect fall autumn sneaker? In my opinion, it's got to be up there, right? Top five, at least. So let's get into it, man. So we have this light gray. It is a light gray. It is not a white. But you can tell that tumbled leather. You get the old press test going. You can see how soft that leather is. Boom, right there. It also follows through all along the mid panels as well. Right there, as you can see that tumbled leather. And then wrap it around the back of the heel as well. Now, all along this shoe, you are going to get that premium, premium cut of suede. If you even do the motion test, you can tell it does change um, the suede pattern as you rub it. Really, really love this suede, to be honest. And I love that rich, dark brown color as well. I mean, this is kind of similar to the same shade as like the, um, you know, Travis Scott Mochas or the Air Jordan 1 Mochas. We just recently got the Palominos that I did a review on, if you guys want to check out that video. Uh, but yeah, I love this color. I love the earth neutral tones that they, that you know, on all types of sneakers. So the fact that you get this nice premium suede on here really makes a nice difference. And honestly, a really beautiful touch when you look at that up close, guys. It is really, really nice. And as you get to the back heel right there, you get that Nike branding in the stitched burnt orange. So this is more of like, it, they call it mantra orange, but it's more of like a burnt rustic type of orange. It's not a bright, vibrant orange. Um, on the swoosh, it, it's a little bit more vibrant, but as far as like the, um, the sock liner, you get that nice burnt orange. Like I said, the stitching right there is that nice burnt orange. 
And then on here, guys, you are going to get a mesh tongue. It, that met nice, that nice um, fat SB tongue. It's going to be that. It's going to be mesh uh, in that light gray. On the top of the tongue right here, you're going to get the Nike SB Crushed DC branding right there from the Crushed DC Skate Shop. And then also on the back, you're also going to get their logo. Uh, and then the back of the tongue right here is in a green. Um, Crushed DC Skate Shop branding and logo right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the only other nod to this collaboration is right here on the insole so i'm not gonna take the insole out but hopefully you guys are able to see that insole right there it just has the logo the crush dc um really cool man really really nice touch insole is the same on this as well but as we speak about the laces so they come with the white oval laces right here and then also on the inside you're gonna get that nice brown lace you're also gonna get that burnt orange lace right here and then also on the aglets, you're going to get a really nice touch. It's a really cool pattern. It's just like a couple different colors in a stripe fashion on the aglets. I really like that. It's all about the details, man. So that's a, that is a really nice touch that they added that. And then for the main focal point of this Nike SB Dunk Low is that swoosh, man. So the really cool, unique thing about this particular collab is that this Nike swoosh, it's like a plastic with like a rubber coating on it, right? But all swooshes no matter what pair you get are going to be different so each swoosh is going to be unique and it will not have the exact same pattern on any other pairs that you're going to see out on the market so as you can even tell just by this one swoosh is that this right here is like the more classic different multicolor pattern but then if you look at this side you get a bigger um you know palette right here you get like that more brown hit right there when this almost looks like it's like scribbled out it's really really cool and then same thing goes on this so this almost has like a tie-dye appearance right there going around to that multi multi-colored nike swoosh really really cool and like this whole thing the whole package of this shoe right you even with the swoosh the color it reminds me of fall it's like the perfect autumn it reminds me of the leaves the acorns you know all that type of stuff like you know pumpkins even with the with the orange it's just a really cool collaboration perfect time like i said to pick these things up honestly um and then obviously going to that outsole is going to be like a gum type of translucent outsole almost looks like a, that nike regrind if you've ever seen that um i don't think this is recycled material but it does have the appearance of it and you also get the speckled flakes in here as well which i think is really really dope touch and that's gonna do it for me guys so please let me know what you guys think about this collab right here the crush dc skate shop nike sb dunk lows i'm loving this colorway honestly like i said one of my favorite pickups of the entire year i know that they released it was either last year 2022 or if it was uh 2021 i can't remember but um either way one of my personal favorite pickups that i picked up this year let me know did you guys originally go for this on release did you hit for retail? Did you not? Did you go back and pick them up on any of the resale sites or, or whatnot? I mean, do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know. Let all of it down in the comments section because I want to hear all of it from you guys. Um, and like I said, please smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe because like I said, man, more content. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, you're going to want to be here. Mark my words because sooner than, rather than later, your boy is going to blow up. So... Um, like I said, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, cruise into that thousand subscriber mark, turn on post notification bell so you don't miss another one of these slappers. And with all that being said, my name is Dylan. You guys just chill with Dylan, me and the Crush DC Nike SB Dunk Low. We're out. Peace.